Hi everybody, uh, Mr. O'Connell here. Um, hope everybody's well. Hope all your family and friends are well too. Um, today I just wanted to talk to you about um, the concept of happiness and how happiness is available to us now. Um, might sound surprising to all of us with all the chaos going on, but uh, nonetheless, um, just want to speak about maybe about some of those feelings that perhaps people crave in their lives, such as happiness and confidence and all of those kind of positive things, which are, are on the positive side are actually quite attainable um, for the most part. And uh, just want to say that often we go searching outside of um, ourselves for things like happiness and confidence and instead of looking inside and equally rather than looking in the future is what we tend to do is like, oh, how do I find this in the future? How do I find this trait? Um, we can actually find these things around us in our current situation. So I want to go um, through, just read out a quote to you from a guy called Ethan Hawke. Um, you may be familiar with him or not, um, but it just resonated with me quite strongly recently. And he said, often we imagine we will work hard, arrive at some distant goal, and we will be happy. However, this is a delusion. Happiness is the result of a life lived with purpose. It is not an objective. It is the movement of life itself. It is a process, an activity. Right, so what I obtained from that is like the kind of realization that a lot of people around us, um, per perhaps even ourselves, kind of have this habit of saying, I'll be happy when. So you might be familiar with people saying, I'll be happy when I've made X amount of money. I'll be happy when I've lost um, Y amount of weight. I'll be happy when I have a relationship or whatever, um, so on and so forth. What I will say is that we have enough from what we have already obtained and 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 learned in in our lives it's just about kind of unlocking those realizations um that are actually already within us so i wanted to go through some maybe some techniques today that might help you with um you know unlocking some of those positive feelings so the first thing to acknowledge is that you know the the fix of um you know, feeling better and feeling more positive about a situation, you know, it's not an overnight fix. It's not perfect straight away. Often, you know, in a daily life, especially like in a busy city like London, it's like lots of hustle and bustle. It's a competitive environment. Um, and I want to go through like what's known as like the mountain metaphor, or the mountain analogy, which is often we see like, OK, there's a peak up here and we want to climb to that. But what you actually realize is that when you climb to the peak and you can see over the horizon, you'll see like there's lots of other mountains. So when once you obtained one goal, um, you will maybe want to obtain the next goal and the next goal and the next goal. And now there's no problem with that in, in many ways. Like it's great to goal set and it's great to have um, things in front of you, but it it's rather um, making a more sustainable approach to goal setting. And I just want to go through that. So rather it about being chase after chase after chase, which might find you might find repetitive and boring. We want to maybe enjoy that meandering process of life um, um, where we're not just seeking for definitive moments, but rather enjoying the journey along um, towards every moment, which which is really, really crucial. So it's about finding moments in each day. And I just want to bring up um, so a statistic is you know, our average life expectancy actually probably equates to roughly 30,000 days on average. Um, but these moments, like it's it's not to look at them like it's like a light switch moment in your life where you turn on the light switch and then bang, you're happy. Or um, or it, then it turns off again. But rather thinking of the, these moments or experiences or the journey in life rather being like a dimmer switch. So if you can imagine like your youth, and gradually you twist that dimmer switch and gradually things get brighter and more vibrant and more positive as we get along and you learn more and things uh, maybe you shine a light on on your situations and you see more effectively across the board um so with that in mind i just wanted to say that in terms of happiness like growth is the secret and with being locked inside and perhaps you know being out of your routine perhaps you're thinking oh it's impossible to grow at the minute but I actually have seen this situation, although there's been some sad news around us, lots of it, 
Um, I've actually tried to think of it more as a situation of opportunity and hopefully I can give you some advice on that today. Um, so there's this concept of routine versus rut. So often you think, oh, well, I'm in a routine. It's good. You know, I get up every morning. I do X, I do Y, I do Z. And then I rinse, repeat and do it every day. Um, but sometimes that can lead to what's known as a rut. So um, what I will say is that when we want to grow, we need to, within our routine, we need to be challenged. So it's okay if we're doing the certain, the same activities, but we want to find those activities to be challenging rather than just doing the same thing. Um, and to push ourselves to a situation of growth, you need to kind of maybe tackle sometimes things that maybe feel, you make you feel uncomfortable or fearful. Um, so getting out of a habit, we're saying, oh, I'll start in January or, oh, I'll start on Monday. Um, so we want to get out of the, the oh, I'll start on Monday. Um, so we want to get out of the, the comfort zone, uh, essentially. Um, because if we remain in the comfort zone, you can often lead to boredom or lacking fulfillment, or maybe perhaps you get into a habit of making excuses. These might be some of the things that you can maybe familiarize yourself with, or you know, maybe you feel familiar with rather. Um, sorry, if I keep looking down, my, uh, my ideas are all scribbled down. But in essence, um, we need to be both challenged mentally and physically. And I'll give you a couple of analogies to relate to, perhaps, and maybe you can uh, you can you know apply it back to your own uh, situation after. Um, so I want to reflect on two things that can lead to growth, and they are challenge and skill set. Um, so we need to begin with kind of realistic goals. Now, if your skill set means that you can comfortably, let's just take your physical um, ability at the minute. If your skill set says that you can run two kilometers comfortably, well, there's no point in you going to the gym every day or, you know, a couple of times a week and running one kilometer each time because you will be completely in your comfort zone. You probably leave the gym feeling like, oh, well, I can do more than that. Um, and then over time, you won't lead to growth and you might actually regress rather than progress. Um, equally, you need to set goals that are kind of realistic in terms of your skill set. So if, like I said, you're, you're able to run two kilometers comfortably, there's no point in lobbing yourself in the situation and saying, right, I'm going to run 10K today because that's just not going to happen overnight. You might injure yourself. You might end up being really uncomfortable or feeling really down on yourself. And what will happen is that maybe you will knock your confidence, maybe not want to return. So what I wanted to do is maybe think about this growth zone. Now, this growth zone is is with a nice equilibrium between um, the, the the challenge aspect of your life versus the skill set aspect of your life. And so, for instance, it might be an idea to maybe, you know, in terms of your fitness, thinking about, OK, I can do two kilometers comfortably so maybe i'll push myself to do 2.5 kilometers today it's not that much of an ask more but it's just a little bit of this will lead to progress over time and then once you feel comfortable with the 2.5 you can push it up from there and it's about the sustainability approach so in terms of your life and you can apply this to academics too it's about finding maybe like not getting down on yourself perhaps you can't learn your french vocabulary for, perhaps you're finding trigonometry di difficult or perhaps you can't understand um you know ideologies behind the french revolution or something like that but it's more like giving yourself credit for one percent better every day and this i came across somebody said this to me a few years ago like one percent better every day and i was really thankful towards that person because ultimately if you get down on yourself and you enter this panic zone, you're going to fall back in the comfort zone and you won't try to progress and you won't try to challenge yourself or develop your skill set and you may just remain stagnant or fall backwards. So even if you're making a little bit of progress, um, then it, it, it's it's really significant and you should give yourself credit for that. And I'll give you a funny um, kind of memory of mine from maybe when I started in Beale. So obviously um, I'm from Ireland and it's, you know, some of you may not know me, perhaps in Key Stage 3, but um, I can actually pronounce three now. I used to say three, but um, yeah, Ultimately, like when I first came over and I was a deputy head a year and public speaking was not my forte. You know, there's 300 odd people in front of me and uh, 
I couldn't, I couldn't really find the words. I maybe had to have my back to the audience, looking at the PowerPoint, stuttering, uh, feeling clammy, nervous, uh, you know, I'm, and you know, I'm not the most perfect. I'm not saying I'm a perfect public speaker now, and and, and ultimately, I, I don't feel completely comfortable right now speaking on on a camera because that's an alien situation for me. But ultimately, uh, when over time, you know, five years at Beale, you know, getting the right coaching and speaking to the right people and trying to make the right changes and adapting and giving yourself credit and not trying to get yourself down, you can make. Um, situations more comfortable and then you go right that was good what what can i do next maybe i can add a bit of humor maybe i can add a bit of um stories or maybe you know involve the audience or whatever it may be now that's just my aspect of what i needed to develop but everybody has their aspect of what they need to find challenging in essence for their growth to feel fulfillment to feel happy so i have a challenge for you today and I'm just going to give you, now they, they don't need to be these areas of your life, but just some examples. You can look at your health or your fitness. You can look at your grades. You can look at your relationships, your self-esteem, your career goals. It could be your spirituality or your connection to yourself. I want you to ask yourself, am I in the comfort zone? Or are there areas where I'm unhappy and I probably want to maybe learn a bit more or push myself to the next level or you know, to keep feeling a sense of fulfillment where I've got a sense of, oh, I was happy I did that. That was a good experience. Um, and they all come in, like I said, from the change, the small changes day in, day out, and they will ultimately lead to happiness. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. Don't be too hard on yourselves and look after yourselves. Take care.